this is what biting off more than you can chew looks like. A bus, a jeep, 17 porters, one guide, a camera, two camera persons, two wannabe travel show producers and six months of planning. All in the attempt to walk the chadar the frozen surface of the river Zanskar in Ladakh. In the summer months, Zanskar is a raging torrent and a haven for river rafting enthusiasts. Come winter, and for just a few weeks, there is a magical transformation when the river pulls a white sheet of ice over itself. Chadar is Ladakhi for white sheet or cover. Cha means white and dar is cover. This is probably the only trade route from centuries ago that is still used. That's because it's the only available route for villages tucked away in the Zanskar Valley in winter. The passes connecting the Zanskar Valley to Leh close from September right up to July, completely cutting these villages off from the rest of the state. Ironically, the region becomes accessible during the short three to four week window when temperatures dip to as low as minus 35 degrees Celsius. In this forbidding weather, the Zanskar River freezes up and forms the Chadar. A precarious highway to Chilling, from where there is a road to Leh. It is this icy road that the locals use to take yak butter to Leh and bring back supplies, food and fuel to last them until summer. Sound like fun? It did to us. And that's how we were on the Chadar. It's not like we weren't nervous, as is evident by this opening piece to camera by Prashant where he says 90 days instead of 90 kilometers. After walking about 90 days on cracking ice, eight days later we hope to reach Padum, the former capital of Zanskar. With a little help from a friend and guide, Pulgan, the man with the plan. Not too long ago, the Chadar route used to start from Nimu, where the Zanskar river flows into the Indus. With the coming up of this road, it now starts here, from a village called Chilling. And now I know why. Anyway, off we are on a journey of a lifetime. In case you're wondering who we are, we are Abhinandan and Prashant. We produce and direct Highway on My Plate. And this is the first highway we ever decided to get on and start shooting. It's our favourite place on earth. More beautiful and awe-inspiring than any other land. Tourists usually flock to Ladakh in the summer. We are here in the peak of winter because we are a little hatke. <laughs> And plenty of Hatke Falls is what you can expect on your first day on the Chadar. Walking on ice does not bring out your graceful best. It explains why penguins waddle. It's tempting to take one's eyes off the ice to marvel at the view. And the view is worth the fall immediately after. Okay. 
चल अच्छा शॉट आएगा वो गिरने का पॉइंट एट नाइट द विंड्स कैन रियली कट इन टू यू सो द लोकल्स स्पेंड देयर नाइट्स इन केव्स दैट डॉट द साइड्स ऑफ द गॉर्ज ऑल अलोंग द चादर सेम वन हेलो का डे दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ होम फॉर द नाइट इन फैक्ट ऑल अलोंग द वे इट्स इन बाउज लाइक दिस और केव्स द वी गोइंग टू बी स्पेंडिंग नाइट्स And if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. Or so we thought. But after the second night, we changed our minds. You feeling fever, Shaif? Not fever. <coughs> Some sleep last night, but I froze last night. I hardly slept. This place definitely the coldest you've been to so far. It's open, yeah. Froze, just lying awake, waiting for morning to come. The coldest cave here is Sarakh do. Sarakh means move or slide, like move it, move it, move it. Sarakh do is named such because stopping here is never recommended. But as you know by now, we are always at the right place at the right time. So yes, we did end up spending the night there. But it was too cold to risk shooting. Since it was freezing, we figured why not try the gonchas that our local friends wear. They were really warm, really heavy, and really not as easy to tie as one would imagine. Rigzin, the oldest of the porters, who has walked the chadar for over 50 years, doesn't see the novelty of it. He'd like his kids to be able to get to lay by more comfortable means. His wish may just be answered, as there are plans of connecting Zanskar to lay by an all-weather road. But until then, here we are, walking on ice. Let's go. Let's go. Experience counts for everything here. Urgan and the others have done this journey a hundred times over. They read ice like you and I read road signs. The whiteness of the ice is not necessarily a good indication of its strength. It can crack and crumble like glass. The transparent glassy ice is the safest. If you slip, you plunge into freezing water. This is frozen stiff here. 
किया क्योंकि लेदर बहुत ये है ना एक दफा गीला हो जाता ना फिर बहुत मुश्किल से सूख जाती है one has to change shoes and socks quickly because in sub zero temperatures frostbite is a constant danger there are places where the ice is broken Here you have two options climb or wade Kya Yahan se to pani cross karna padega hame kaafi deep hoga chahiye kitna deep kitna to ho jayega ha dusra rasta yahan se jana padega ki isko pura chadna padega aise se pura mountain ko mountain ko jana padega aap kya suggest karte ho aap suggest karte ho water jaye mountain se so you only get wet there if you fall you Sorry, if you fall, yeah. there's no chance you're gonna come out of this. Yeah. I'm going that way. Or when I'm going up there, I'll go. Ah, from there, okay. Okay. From the water, you can't go. Okay. Okay. From the water, you can go. Now, from here, you can do it. From the other side. Ah, yeah. So, hey, don't you care? Hey, go stand there. Get up there, Joa. But then, treacherous as it is, the chadar has some spectacular sights. It's a lot easier than it looks. Enough Except to take you your down. breath away. Although there isn't much breath in your lungs to take away because of the altitude and strain of walking for hours. Along the chadar, up in the All hills, the is a village called Nirak. It's an hour-long like uphill climb. That is a staple diet, so they don't have to carry any extra weight while walking up and down the chadar. In chadar. winter, those walking the chadar use it to get a night's rest, and it's where Chang is. Chang is the local beer brewed from wheat. It's enough to motivate our aging friend Gyatso to walk all the way up and get some chang down. Yeah, ji, chang. Chang kebab he. Ha? Ye chang kebab. Chang kebab. Subsa, kebab chin. Chicken kebab ko. Kebab chin. Lagate hain fir chal, banao. गरम गरम पीगा तो फिर एकदम चक्कर होने लगेगा इसलिए ये ठंडे ठंडे में पीता है
One place where we could get off the river and trek on hard, non-slippery land was the village of Zangla. We were being hosted in the palace of the king of Zangla. The wife of the prince is a minor celebrity. You may recall this face as the cover picture of one of the hottest selling guidebooks of Ladakh. We were well fed and given indoor accommodation for the first time in seven days. Sitting around the Bukhari in the family kitchen was a luxury we were grateful for. <laughs> and the laughs. The grand old lady of the house is a star who can spin quite a yarn. We didn't get the punchlines ever, but it was clear to us that most jokes were at our expense and it was a wonderfully jolly end to a very hard day. Finally rested and rejuvenated, we were making our way to Karsha, the largest monastery in Zanskar. It's also one of the oldest in the region. It's been eight days since we left Chilling for Padum. And after walking not 90 kilometers as we initially thought, but 130, now we make our final push from Karsha to Padum, that you can see in the distance behind me, only seven kilometers away. Finally, Padum. It's the sub-divisional headquarter of Zanskar. It's the largest village here. Ski slopes and skis made of pipes tied together ensure the kids here have a blast. While finishing the journey gave us some satisfaction, there was a bit of a low with the realization that a great trip was now coming to an end. From here on, the porters were going back home and we were heading our way. If you've ever taken a major journey, you'd know one forms friendships and bonds that are pretty intense. So did we. There was the acknowledgement of the fact that we might never meet again. It's been almost a decade and we haven't met Urgan, Rixin, Gyatso and the gang since. We had promised each other we'd do the chadar again. It was hard and it was punishing, but it was one of the things that made us fall in love with Ladakh. But that was not the only reason. We'll tell you a bit of what happened a decade ago while shooting the chadar that cemented our bond with Ladakh. After the cameras were packed up, we were stuck in Padum for eight days. Some of our crew were sick, so walking back 130 kilometers was not an option. We had to stay on until an Air Force helicopter came to our rescue. There being no hotels and no restaurants, a villager gave us shelter on the first floor of his mud hut and shared with us dal, potatoes and rice for eight days straight. That may not sound like a lot, but think about this. Your next shopping trip is about four months away. There isn't the option of home delivery and whatever you have has to last your family the entire winter. It takes a large heart to share that with four complete strangers. The remoteness and unforgiving nature of the land and weather has taught people here that to survive, one must collaborate. If you're ever in these parts and run out of supplies or money, you can be certain you'll be taken care of by the locals. Always share. That's something anyone who's visited Ladakh will tell you. This time, it's up to the rest of India to demonstrate what we have learned from them.